Today we're uh, talking about feeding from height, and that is uh, in the Midwest especially, and uh, the the walkout basement is the most common uh, kind of design of houses around here. So a lot of people are faced with a situation when they're feeding their birds that their 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 favorite viewing level, which is usually the main living level of their house, looks out into open air. Uh, they they probably have a deck, uh, but the ground is a good ways below them, and that's where you know a lot of bird feeding obviously has to occur, and so it, it's difficult to overcome that. So we're constantly faced with trying to uh, get people's feeder situation. Uh, a favorable viewing uh, method for them. And they, today we thought we'd talk about that. Uh, now I've done a whole program on feeding from your deck. And I was on, from that I talk about uh, some of the problems with that. I mean we have great deck arms and uh, methods to uh, hang your feeders there and you can walk out in the snow and get to them easily. And the feeding from your deck is a good thing. But it has its drawbacks. Uh, we talk about squirrels and raccoons getting to your feeders on your deck. You can't uh, really keep the uh, squirrels and, and raccoons from getting to your feeders. They can jump off your deck railing and climb out on any deck arm and get to them. Um, some people don't like the, the feeders on their deck railing because the birds so it will land on the deck and sometimes you get poop on your deck railing. And so that's uh, uh, that people... Uh, uh, tend to uh, shy away from that in a lot of circumstances. So what are the other methods or what are the other ways to feed your birds so you can see them from your main living level? Well, if you have trees nearby, we have, you know, you can always go with um, a branch hook. We have lots of branch hooks of different lengths of which you can hang from higher limbs. Uh, we have one that's up to 54 inches long, which is very, very long, so you can get it up on a very high limb. But that's the time if you're down on the ground, even reaching that high, your feeders are, are you have to go up to the window to look down on your feeders, to, uh, even when they're hanging from a tree limb, most of the cases. So how can we deal with that and, uh, effectively? Well, one of the best ways I know is to get your feeders up in the air um, to uh, so that they're, they're level with your windows on your main living level. And there's no better method than this this situation right here. This is a known as the aerial feeding station. Um, and what this is, is a purple martin pole. So they, the company who makes this out of Indiana took one of their great purple martin pole setups and modified it so that it has a, a, a rack that can hold multiple bird feeders up there. They can, you can hang multiple bird feeders. You can put platform feeders up there. And the, the standard pole, this comes 14 foot tall. So that whenever you put this in the ground and you can raise and lower by the pulley all of these bird feeders to get them up about 14 feet up in the air, which is great for viewing from your main level. You can put uh, raccoon baffles on the pole to keep the squirrels and the raccoons from climbing it. So it is a great solution for people with the walkout basement situation and being able to view feeders from their main living level. Plus, you don't have to worry about debris and the, the holes or anything fall on your deck or things like that. So you can put this out in your yard, raise and lower it, easy to fill it, and then put it back up again. So uh, it's a recommendation. So this is the most unique uh, feeding pole situation that I've, I've seen. We carry it, we like it, and we, we highly recommend it. So if you have a walkout, you might want to consider that. Great idea for a program. Thanks for sending that in. Thanks for all the support here on Small Business Saturday. Um, send in more ideas. Give us a like. Give us a share, if you will. That helps us out a lot. Until then, come by and let's talk birds.